everyone, it's me again. It's uh, March 6, 2013, and it is P3 day 90-something for me. I vlog hopped on you yesterday. It's not like anything really eventful happened, so um, I'll get you up today. Um, I'm still two pounds over LIW. Uh, the inflammation has... Um, I think the inflammation is starting to go down. I know the scabs on my back have um, dried up, but uh, I went and decided to use that um, gradual uh, tanner stuff again to see if it was it. So, you know, I might have a breakout again. We shall see, but I have to experiment, so, to find out what I can use and what I can't use. Um, today I've decided to do a steak day because uh, I don't like being um, over LIW so I'm doing a steak day. I drink a lot of water and tea and I'm going to have a big steak for dinner. Um, Minnie is on VLCD number 84 and uh, she had a goose egg yesterday and uh, she's up 0.2 today. Um, so yeah, she's kind of um, been real sloppy in her last days here. Uh, she's gotten social, and which is fine and everything, but, you know, she needed to do it without cocktails and um, extra nibbles of this or that. And it's just, it, I guess it's not sinking in. So <laughs> um, she asked me this morning, she's like, what's up with the point two? I, I was really good. Uh, she had a party that she went to, a birthday party yesterday, and, um, you know, she's like, oh, it's so good, I didn't have any cake or what, I'm like, huh, cake? Like, that shouldn't even be, like, in your vocabulary, what are you talking about, cake? Uh, I said, so, tell me what good is, like, tell me what you ate, tell me what you drank. Uh, she didn't have any cocktails, um... But uh, she said that she brought my salad dressing with her, and she had two really big helpings of salad, so I'm sure that was, like, over and above. And uh, she had, like, four shrimp, and then she had steak. So that's mixing the proteins, which he's not supposed to do. And uh, I asked her what was on the steak or what how the steak was cooked, and she says, oh, it was just a little uh, a teriyaki sauce. Hello? Nah. Anybody home? Hello? Yeah. Wake up. Uh, I'm sure there's sugar in the teriyaki sauce, uh, not to mention lots of sodium. So there's your two point, your point two right there. Along with mixing it with uh, shrimp and uh, probably copious amounts of salad. So, hello? Uh, she claims that she's going to snap out of it, get with the program, and finish out strong. And uh, yeah, she has my full support, so that's what we're supposedly doing. <laughs> Today is the first day of getting back to reality. Um, and uh, Mama's boy is on VLCD number 50. Yesterday he had a very big drop on 1.6. And um, today, 0.2, so he's doing really good. He's 160.4, and his goal was 165. So we're just going to finish out the week um, and then move him into P3. So whatever weight he is, he is, and yeah. And same goes with Minnie. So uh, this is the last week for them, for them both. <sighs> yeah. Um, Mo... Uh, I keep hearing people are mentioning, oh, uh, what is her, um, vlogging handle and everything. Um, she would have to pop up and let everybody know, you know, um, I agree to keep her anonymous, uh, so that's really up to her. She, she needed, um, she needed to be part of the Deeds clan because, you know, she wanted to be held accountable and she wanted to participate in the community, but without the direct pressure of um, vlogging at the time. And, um, and that's what she needed to do, and, and um, it served its purpose. It really helped. She's very appreciative of all of the support. I mean, really su appreciative. 
and um, you know she's been doing wonderful uh, and I think a lot of that has to do with the support that everybody gave her um, even though it was anonymously so maybe she will pop out and let everybody know uh, who she is but um, but I, you know I cannot reveal her by myself can't do that sorry uh, but she is out there and you guys are watching her just so you know um, and rumor has it that uh, Maxie she's been taking some drops I don't know what they are I, I mean I'm assuming they're HCG but uh, I don't know, you know if it's homeopathic or RX or if it's from a clinic clinic or Walmart or whatever I have no idea um, but she's been doing that and I guess most recently she's doing that and pretty much eating what she wants so I guess she's like creating her own protocol and um, as of this morning, I hear that she's also decided to only weigh once a week in addition to eating whatever she wants and um, doing the drops. So, I don't know. Yeah. I wish her luck with that. I really do. Um, I do want to say something about... Um, on protein, on P2, and, you know having little cheats, you know, that's what I'm going through with Minnie right now, and, uh, you know, I said something to her this morning, and I think it's quite appropriate, you know, she was like, I was really good, I just, you know, cheated a little, well, you know, it's kind of like, on P2, <laughs> on P2, that's like saying, um, you're a little bit pregnant, there's no such thing as a little bit pregnant. You know what I'm saying? So, um, yeah, we've all had an extra nibble of something or, you know, maybe, you know, done coconut oil or done something that's technically not on P2. And uh, we may have survived it. We may have even lost. Um, but the thing is, is there's a science to uh, the protocol. And, um... It's fine if we decide that we want to experiment, if it's going to be an experimental round and you're going to experiment and journal and everything and that's your choice and everything, but if you're truly looking to reach your goal, I would suggest don't experiment. Stick with the protocol. Um, get your weight off, reach your goal, and stabilize. Enjoy the rest of your future. Uh, if you want to do a later on, I know another round or something. If you have quite a lot of weight to to lose and you feel like you want to experiment, fine. But if you're really trying to reach a goal, not such a good idea. And uh, hello, come on, jeez oh, Louise. Um, yeah. So if you're if you're wanting to reach your goal. Um, my suggestion is stay pop, um, you know, maybe with the exception of, uh, coconut oil or MCT oil. Um, other than that, I would like stay pop, pop, pop and, um, get the weight off and stabilize and take your stabilization extremely seriously. And, um... You know, when those social gatherings come up or Mother's Day, like I know Mother's Day is coming up, you know, it's just not worth it. You know, so what? So, so your kids make you pancakes. You know, it's not the last pancake that you will ever see in your life. It's just not worth uh, derailing your, your whole, all of your hard work over a pancake. It never tastes as good as you think it, it's going to, and um, it lasts all of, what, five minutes? And, you know, and then you feel like crap, basically, because you, uh, you messed up your protocol. And um, it's not just that one day. It, it really can affect your entire, all of your work, and it could affect your stabilization. So, um, all right, I don't want to be on a soapbox anymore. I am sorry if I offended anybody, but, um, yeah, that's what's going on in my world. I'm pushing up.